Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. I want to tell you about a couple of uh, events, and I have alluded to them in a couple other reports that I've talked about. But this year, we're going to have a kayak fishing tournament held in Messina for the first time ever. And this is, this is a big deal, and I'll tell you why it's a big deal. No, it's not just another tournament coming. It's a different type of tournament that's going to bring a different kind of sportsman or a different oriented sportsman to our area, and it's going to utilize a huge part of the natural resource that we're not really using much to sort of spur our economy. The tributaries. This tournament is going to allow fishermen to fish in our tributaries. Any of the tributaries in in the area. Now, they'll they'll sort of map out an area where people can go. So they'll have a southern boundary, let's say, the Oswegatchie River in Ogdensburg, and maybe a eastern boundary that will maybe be one of the dams near Potsdam on the Racket River. My point is, though, that it's going to allow people to fish in the tributaries that never receive any tournament action. And it's it's a, a a fishery that I don't think very many people really bass fish for for bass in these tributaries. Now, I do because I love it. I love that type of fishing. But if you don't have a canoe or a kayak or a little flat bottom boat that you can pick up and and, and move from, from pool to pool, you can't fish these rivers the same because there's going to be all kinds of different barriers, just natural barriers like low water, riffles, rapids, and so forth. But by being able to offer this wonderful fishing the same way that we do the St. Lawrence River to a different group of people is just another step forward in using our great fishery for our economic benefit. Now, here's the other thing that I want you to be aware of. This kayak tournament, the rules, the the, the procedures that they go through are very similar to what Major League Fishing does in that the, the fish are shot with a camera. As soon as they're brought into the boat, they're measured They're not weighed. They're measured. This is about length, not weight. So this gives people a great advantage in the tribs because there's plenty of 17, 18 inch bass in the tributaries. They're they're not going to wear weigh near as much coming out of the Grass River. A 17 inch bass is not going to weigh near as much as a 17 inch bass in the St. Lawrence River. But it's going to be just as valuable because it's just the length that they're concerned with. As soon as they measure it, that fish goes back in the water. This is catch and release and not catch and keep or not catch and transport to another area. This is get them back in the water as soon as you can. So I think this is fantastic. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for us because it's still going to bring in a number of people from out of the area that would have never come here and discovered what a wondrous place we have if it hadn't been for the fishing opportunity to win something in a tournament. I'm excited about this. This is going to be August 17th. I'll tell you more about it as time goes on. And yes, there will be prizes and so forth. But remember, the fish will be, and and they're going to be streaming this. So you can see what's happening at the same time. You can see the anglers as they catch their fish. It should be a fun thing, uh, an exciting thing. And here's the main issue that I want you to be aware of. Kayak fishing is exploding. It's the newest phase of fishing because it's giving more and more people a chance, whether they, they may not be financially is, is able to buy a big bass boat or even a boat capable of fishing the St. Lawrence River. But they can go in Walmart or any place else and buy a kayak of some form. And it may be people that are extremely financially well off, but this is what they might enjoy. So it's going to give us a whole nother opportunity to use fishing as a stimulant for money. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.